two years ago, um, I had a problem with fainting. And it started one morning when I got up to go to work and I went out to my car. And I got this really hot, prickly feeling in my body. And um, it was very, I could feel like sweat start to beat up on me. And then I could feel this sort of tight feeling in my jaw. And it kind of felt like somebody was blowing a balloon with gum in my jaw. And then all of a sudden I'd feel like curtains closing on the side. And that's when I would pass out. And so I passed out onto the driver's seat of my car. I wasn't driving yet, thank God. And then I woke up, but I would wake up and be able to hear what was going on around me, but I couldn't move my body or participate in it. Um, so it's kind of like when you can hear a TV in the other room, but you can't really know what's going on. And then I'd wake up and I'd be just fine. And it started just this one morning and I, was, I started passing out like 10 times a day. It was really weird. And um, so I went to the doctor and I got an MRI and none of the doctors could figure out what was wrong with me. And so being in Portland, I just started asking around. Um, got a lot, a lot of good suggestions of what to do. Um, <laughs> But it was, I'd also just started dating someone new, so that added a new sort of self-conscious element to that relationship. It was also just really nerve-wracking going out in public, like going into the grocery store and passing out or walking down the street and passing out. And um, it turns out, though, you can actually pass out anywhere, and nobody really cares. <laughs> so they're like, she's just taking a rest. Um, like, you pass out on the sidewalk, I just like lay down and wake up and people would still be walking by in the grocery store. There was like a chunk of time that I was missing though, like I'd be walking down the grocery store aisle and like see somebody coming towards me and I'd get the hot tingles and I'd be like, here we go. So I just lay down so I didn't take anyone out. And then when I woke up, like they would have clearly walked past me. I'd be like, what? I thought they were nicer in new seasons, right? Um, and yeah, so I mean, and it doesn't say a lot about like, the relationship I was in, but he could also pass out during sex, and goes unnoticed. <laughs> that doesn't make me look very good at all. <laughs> um, <laughs> but I started trying new things because the doctors couldn't figure out what was wrong with me, and um, one of the first suggestions I got was that I should try colonics, because I have a couple friends who are like way into colonics. So I went to this highly recommended colonic guy, and if you don't know what that is, it's where they put water in your butt and like fill you up with water, and they make you hold the water in your butt, and then they let you do, you hold and release. And <laughs> I went to this guy who was totally recommended it, and it was in his basement. <laughs> like, <laughs> like I went around behind his house and went down his basement, it was super friendly, there was like salt lamps and the music and all the good things, and I went there and I laid down, and he was like, just undress, lay on the table. Um, and it was like this homemade contraption, but it was like really peaceful and the music was nice. And so <laughs> I was there. And he came in, I don't know if this is just weird for me, he came in like drinking a smoothie, <laughs> which he proceeded to drink the whole time when he was like with the thing. And he was like, now hold, release. And he'd be like, yeah, that's a good one. Was, this is, it didn't work. It didn't cure me. I kept passing out everywhere. Um, I tried a juice fast, that was the next suggestion, because that clears everything. Um, and I did that for like seven days, didn't help. I ended up, this is, I didn't mean for this to be all about poop, but whatever. Um, <laughs> I stopped the juice fast when I was walking to the grocery store and I felt something in my pants. And I was like, oh my God, I told, and I'm like sipping on my special juice and I'm wearing these Lululemon pants and I was like, I am a total fucking cliche. Like I just <laughs> shit my Lulus on a juice fast. <laughs> like, <laughs> this is over, this is not who I'm gonna become. Another thing that I tried, which ended up being like the best, worst financial decision of my life was um, there's that place called Float On. It's like the world's largest float tank center. And you go in these float tanks that are all dark and you can't hear and the water and the air is the same temperature as your body. And you float and like you go into this cosmic place. It's awesome. And you can't feel anything. It doesn't make you stop fainting, but it's <laughs> awesome. And there was like starting to be, so now we're like a couple months into this problem that I'm having and I'm starting to miss like, not remember more and more of what's going on around me. It was super scary. I'm like laughing at it now, but 
Um, sometime during this, apparently, like months later after I was better, I was looking at my bank statement, and there was like thousands of dollars missing, and I couldn't figure out what it was. I was like, oh, it must be from that time. I don't remember anything. And I looked, and I had automatic transferred thousands of dollars to the float tank center. <laughs> So I called them and they were like, we'll just comp you the floats. So now I'm like totally float rich. <laughs> and <laughs> I still love to float. That was like the gift that this whole passing out experience gave me is I have like floats for like 80 years. <laughs> um, but I was still passing out. I was like trying to function and I had to, and my family's all worried. I went up to OHSU and had to get monitored on the, um, on the seizure like brain problems floor which was somebody like me, they're thrilled, because like everyone else on that floor is really sick. And I'm just like, whatever, like having visitors and parties and um, <laughs> hanging out with this new boyfriend in my room. I found out later like everything you do in there is recorded and it's somebody's job to like listen and watch to everything that happens. I was in there for like four days doing all sorts of weird stuff. Um, and they still couldn't figure out what this like hot, sticky, chewing gum passing out problem I was having. And I had to go back to um, the last time I felt normal. And that was before I started dating this person. So the last thing that I could try was like, maybe I'm allergic to my boyfriend. <laughs> I don't know, it was, a tough, it was a tough conversation to have. But um, it made it go away. Yeah. And so that's that. <laughs>